Hey guys, Mother Viking and YouTube here back with another Viking Orations. Got another review for you this time around, and I'm going to be talking to you about the debut full length album from the band Stench of Evil entitled Triumph of Perversion, put out through Sunshine Ward Recordings just this year. And if you're not familiar with Stench of Evil, they are a two man project based around Atlanta, Georgia, and San Francisco, California that formed back in 2014. And their style can best be said as a um, mix of death metal, black metal, and even some crust elements on here. Uh, the duo in question are Chad Davis handling all of the instruments. Um, he's known for Hour 13, a new among many others. And once again, Justin Stubbs on vocals from Father Be Found and Confination, uh, Accost, Infestment, and a whole host of others. Um, yeah. I've picked up a lot of this guy's music uh, over the last few months. I've just been so impressed. I mean, he's just cranking them out left and right. And uh, so, yeah, Stench of Evil. Again, this is their debut full-length album. It is 12 tracks, but it only clocks in it. Just a little over 24 minutes in length. So while there is 12 tracks, most are very, very short in length. Um, track 4, Venomous Eyes, probably the longest on here, right around... 3 minutes and 29 seconds, something like that. So these are just really short blasts of, I'd like to describe it as, satanic evil and death. Um, just based off of the lyrics and, of course, you know, the artwork, both front and back, kind of gives you an idea what this band is all about. Uh, overall, I mean, there is no polished production here to this album. It's just down and dirty, has a real crusty atmosphere. And it, to me, it sounds like Demons in Hell decided to record an album and this is what they spawned forth. And I say that with the utmost respect because I really did enjoy this album. Uh, the drum sound could best be described as really raw. Some might even say kind of demo quality-ish, but not in terms of playing. There's no real thundering or pounding kick drums or really any blast beats that I noticed on here. Yeah, I think with this style of death metal that they're playing, it doesn't really require them. And um, overall, I think the production and the performance here was really well done. I really enjoyed it. Um, the guitars and the bass really don't stand out from each other in the mix here. They kind of work in tandem to really create this maelstrom of chaos that adds to that evil atmosphere that they're trying to create, and I think they've done that really well here. Uh, track 11, uh, Chain to Satan's Throne, has this really cool riff that gives off of a bit of a mortician vibe, which, of course, being a mortician fan, I picked that out, and I was like, yeah, that's awesome. Um, and I also really love this kind of doomy, dirgy intro riff on uh, track 4, Venomous Ire. Um, track 8, Darkness Lives, has a really frantic pace to it. Most songs are fast-paced, but this one just seems like we've reached the point that shit is really getting serious and about to really, you know, hit the fan here. Um, and, of course, I've heard Justin's vocals on many releases, but here he kind of goes for a, um, you know, and it took me a while to really figure out who he kind of reminded me of and in this case he goes for that kind of pete helm camp you know angel corpse style it's not really a growl per se but if you've heard you know angel corpse you pretty much know what kind of vocal style i'm talking about here um you know really perfect example of what i mean here just listen to the opening to track seven triumph of perversion and yeah you'll you'll know what i'm talking about uh overall this is just a nice slab of evil sounding death metal nothing that will really you know reinvent the wheel or anything like that but it's definitely a really cool listen and it's definitely worth checking out i think so yeah stench of evil triumph of perversion i give this a solid nine out of ten i will leave a link below uh to where you can check out this for yourself and pick up a copy if you'd like uh yeah that is going to do it. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. And until next time, stay brutal.